thanks for joining me today and today um, we're going to share um, exercises for strength and balance for frailer adults today. Um, so before we begin um, I just thought I would um, share a little bit about the exercises. Um, we have a leaflet um, from Pass for All uh, which is Walk Your Way to Better Balance, Strength and Balance and um, you can access these leaflets from your walking coordinator in your area or you can also access it from Pass for All on their website. Um, the exercises, there's um, 10 in total and we also have four that are specific for frailer adults. Um, so we're going to uh, practice some today. Um, some of the seated, um, sorry, so some of the standing exercises today we're going to do seated um, as there is an alternative to the standing exercises, which is what we'll practice today. Um, so I aim to um, offer some exercises over the next 15 minutes. So before we get started, um, we just want to check that the area that we hope to exercise, that it's a safe area. Um, so as you'll see, I'm seated on quite a sturdy seat, so that's quite useful to use. Um, wearing comfortable clothing so that you're comfortable, but also that you're warm. Uh, we will be doing some exercises, so you will get a little bit warmer, uh, but something comfortable that you can move about with. And on your feet, um, just uh, comfortable footwear. We don't ask you to um, buy anything specific for wearing. So we'll get started first off um, with um, some seated warm-ups. So sit fully back in your seat and lower the shoulders back nice and straight and also your lower back is supported with the back of the chair. Holding on just to keep you nice and stable with your hands and feet flat on the floor. Tummy pulled in to support your stomach and your lower back. And we'll just start off with some gentle toe taps. So just tapping the toes onto the floor. Um, so reaching out with your big toe and tapping that onto the floor. And we just do that just to warm up the body for the body to get ready for some exercise. Um, and just remember to breathe throughout, don't hold your breath. So just gentle toe taps. We can then add to that with a toe and a heel, toe and heel. And that just helps with the flexibility through your ankles. And also a little bit of exercise for your toes as well by reaching down to the floor. So we'll just continue with a couple more. And also when you're exercising, you can have some water nearby just to sip if you feel that you need to take a drink of water. So just rest there. And now we're going to lift our knees up off the floor for some marching. And that just adds a more flexibility for you. If you find that um, this is not particularly comfortable for you, then I would just go back to the toe taps. And just to remember that we're breathing throughout and that we're just lifting the knee a little bit higher. And stop. And this time we're going to take the arms in. So we're doing the opposite arm to opposite leg just for a little bit of marching. And that just raises the heart a little bit more. So you feel that you're working a little bit harder. And these exercises are designed that you can do them in the safety and the comfort of your own home. Um, so long as you have a nice sturdy seat to sit on, then you could do these exercises while watching television. Or at an ad break, you could add an exercise with each break of your favourite television programme. And stop. So the first exercise we're going to do today um, is seated toes to nose. So we're going to remain seated where we are. Again, lower those shoulders back nice and straight. Stomach pulled in. And we're just going to put one heel on the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull strongly with our toes, pull them strongly towards you, towards your, your shin and your knee. And you'll feel a quite, quite a strong tightness in your toes and your ankle. 
and release. Feeling the floor again and bring those toes towards your knee. And remember to breathe. And release. And bring those toes, squeeze them towards your, your shin. And it's on a count of five that we hold our toes. And release. Two to go. And release. Last one. And release. And that can be a bit tight around your ankle. So just circle your ankles one way. And then circle them the other. And down. And now we do the same with your opposite foot, heel on the floor, pulling strongly with your toe towards your leg, towards your shin and your knee. And you'll feel a difference from one foot to the other. One is more flexible than the other. And release. And squeeze again, pulling those toes up. And really use that big toe to lead the other toes. And release and squeeze and release and squeeze and release and squeeze and release the last time and release and as before, just circle with your ankle, circle it one way, and then circle the opposite way. And down. Well done. So the next one we're going to do is the front knee strengthener. Uh, I'm sorry, what I should have said is the, the seated toes to nose, those exercises will help strengthen the muscles on the top of your feet. So it'll help you allow to walk um, and if you're having to lift your feet for any reason, whether it's a pavement or cracks, it helps with the flexibility of that so that you're able to, to step over any objects that may be in front of you. So apologies, I didn't say that at the start. So our next exercise, as I said, is the front knee strengthener. So again, we're in the seated position, holding on with our hands at the side, back nice and straight, and we're going to... Take our foot out in front of us, lift it up, and if we can, lift it again. And this you will feel tightness in your thigh. And as it suggests, it's the front knee strengthener. Slowly lower back down and bring it back to the start. Take your foot out to the front, slowly lift up. And if we can, lift again for a count of three. And remember to breathe. Slowly down and back. Out to the front and lift. Lift again. So this exercise strengthens your thigh and obviously your knee. Slowly down and back. To the front and lift. Lift again. And this exercise will help you from getting up to a standing position from a chair and it will also help you to be mobile and certainly would help with walking activities and also for climbing stairs. Slowly down and back. Opposite foot out and lift. Lift again. And similarly you'll feel a difference from one leg to the other. Slowly down and back to the front. Lift, lift again. Slowly down and back to the front. And lift, lift again. And as I say, you should feel a tightness in that thigh muscle. Slowly down and back. Two to go to the front. Lift, lift again, slowly down and back, and last one to the front, and lift, 
Swivel again and back. Well done, well done. So you should feel a little bit warmer now, now that we've done a couple of exercises. So our next one is calf raises, which is an alternative to the standing exercise that's within the leaflet. So we're going to come forward. So we're just going to shimmy forward, moving our hips from side to side and come forward to the front third of your seat. Your feet nice and flat on the floor. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with calf raises. And this exercise will um, strengthen the calf muscles, but it's also an uh, exercise for your toe joints as well. It's exercising your toe joints. And again, this will help with um, your walking and specifically if you're going over any, any pavements or any objects. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the heels up off the floor, pressing the big toe and the other toes into the, the floor. You'll feel that tight in your calf and slowly back down. And shoulders are down, back nice and straight, tummy pulled in, and lift up your heels, and slowly back down, and lifting up for a count of three, and slowly back down, and lifting up again, and slowly back down, one more. And down, and I think our last one is now, that's our five, and slowly back down, well done. So now, since we've done the calf raises, we'll also go and do the toe raises as well. So that's the opposite, where we lift, we lead with the big toe, and our two toes next, toes two and three, we're going to lift the big toe and the toes up, and um, we'll go up onto our heels. So guiding with the big toes, lifting the toes up off the floor, holding for a count of three, and slowly back down. And lifting up, and slowly back down, and lifting up, and slowly back down, and lifting up. And back down and lifting up and back down and last set and down. Well done. So wriggle back to our starting position with our back supported with the chair and then we'll just finish up today with a warm up. What we've done is a repetition of five for each exercise and that's a good beginning for people to start exercising and what we'd hope is over time um, hopefully recognising that twice a week is a good um, gauge to, to work towards that you do two uh, sessions of strength and balance a week um, and starting off with five repetitions and you can then build up to a repetition of ten. So we're going to finish off just with some marching just to finish off and bringing in our hands just to slowly wind down after our exercises for today and if you want to find out more you can look on the Path for All website for more exercises and stop and then we'll just finish off with some gentle toe taps And just slow that, that breathing. Hopefully you feel that you've worked a little bit today and that you've enjoyed practicing the exercises with me. And as I say, if you want to find out any more information, contact your local walking coordinator within the area or log on to Path for All on the website. So thanks very much for sharing exercises with me today and have a lovely day. Take care.